So today we're gonna start out the thermal beanie. We're gonna start the top, work our way down, and we're gonna finish with an inside row. And we'll, we'll get back to what that means in just a bit. So let me get some yarn. I get that aside. And what I'm gonna use today is I'm gonna use a little bit thicker yarn. I'm gonna use a five weight in wool just so that it's easier to see. <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm a little congested today. So you can either do a magic loop or a slip knot. And what you're going to want to do is work six single crochets. Sorry about that. Six single crochets into the loop. Two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to snug that up by pulling the tail. And we're going to work in a spiral. So this first one will join, but after that, we'll be working in a spiral. So now on, ro on round two, <coughs> we're going to go into just the front loop and do two single crochets in each of the front loops all the way around. So we should have 12. Let's make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I've got thirteen. So somewhere I messed up there. And now we're gonna start that spiral. And we're gonna do an inside round. So for an inside round, we're gonna go through the back loop of the row we were just on and then you're going to see back here that that row around that is the loops the back loops of the row that we just worked into and we're going to do a single crochet into each of those what we're going to have to do is <clears throat> because we have two single crochets in each of the front loops when we did our increase round we now have to go through the top the back t a loop of the top of our work and then we have to go into that same loop we just worked into that's in the previous round that is the back loop so basically you're going to do two single crochets but on the back those two are going to go into the lower one back loop. Let's do that again. So we're going into the into the top loop and then we're going to go into the bottom back loop. One. And then here's our next stitch and we're going to go in to that same back loop. And do a single crochet. Now we're on our next one. one and two one and two 
one X stitch and two. And it's gonna look a little bit like um kind of like a mushroomy thing. Start of a mushroom. But it'll get better. So here's this one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're back at the beginning. You can place a marker, or I pull my tail to the front so I can kind of see where I need to be. The other thing is, we're going to alternate rounds where we're working in two front loops or two back loops from here on in. Now, our outside rounds are going to be our increase rounds and our inside rounds are going to finish those off. So this round is now an outside round and you can see that there's these loops around here. We're going to work in up through this one and we're going to work into that one, the front loop of the previous row and the second row below and we're going to do two single crochets through those two loops. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two loop, in the next set. And then we're going to do two single crochets. And then we're going to do one. We're going to do that all the way around. And two into that one and one into this one and two into that one and one into the next group two into that one one into the next one. Now, you can start to see here where I've done a front row, it creates a little, what I call a ridge bump. And then when you've got stuff left to do, you've still got loops that show. So this is a one, so this one's going to be a two in the same one. And then we're going to do one. And then we're going to do two into that one. And there, we've gone all the way around. And it looks a little weird on the back. Here's the back. But these are the, these are the loops that we'll work into when we do an inside round. The next row is an inside round. And we're going to go in the back loop of the previous row. You see we have no more loops sitting on the outside to be worked. We're going to go to the back loop and then the back loop of this one. And then because we had worked two out of the front loop right here, we'll work two into that same back loop. So we've got this goes from front to back and then we move over one stitch and go from front to the same back. And then we go straight through. This one's going to be into this loop from the back or on the back and then this stitch right here is also going to go into that back one. This one will go straight in, just a single. This one there will be two, so there'll be one. Then we move over one, and but back into the same back loop. So 
So we're back at the at the very last stitch of that inside round. And we're going through the back two loops. And now you can really start to see. Here's your outside from the previous. Here's the here's the row you just worked. Here's the previous row. And then you'll start to see that it forms these ridge bumps. And each of these ridge bumps represent two rounds. So now we're back on an outside round and the first stitch of the outside round we're going to do two single crochets. We're going to go, let me back that up. We're going to go up through the bottom loop of two rounds back and up through the front loop of the previous row. And then we're going to do two times, we're going to do one outside thermal single crochet in each stitch. And then we're going to do two in this one. And then we're going to do one outside thermal crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we'll do two in this one. And it'll repeat like that all the way around. And I'll meet you when we get back to the start of the round. So now we're back at the beginning, ready to do our next inside round. Now, you'll see on this one there is six spots. You can start to sort of see that hexagon shape. So six spots where there was an increase. And in those six spots, we're going to go through the back loop of the top and through the back loop of the row below. And using that same back loop, but a different front loop. And then we're going to do straight through the back, straight through the back. And so here's another one where there's a double. We're going to go through the back loop, into that lower back loop, and then we're going to go over to the next stitch, but we're going to go back into the same lower loop and do our single crochet. And then we're doing the two back loops, single crochet, two back loops, single crochet, and that makes your thermal single crochet. We're going to keep going all the way around in that fashion, and I will meet you at the beginning of the next row. Okay, so now we're back at the end of that round, ready to start our next one. And I have the instructions in a pattern that will be available on Etsy at my shop, Just Making It. And then also on Ravelry. Just making it on Ravelry. But to keep going, you're going to go until your hat top is as large as you would like it, and then you'll start going down the sides of the hat. Now, since this is just a miniature example, I'm going to start this round as if I was going to start going down the sides. And so we're going to do one outside round thermal single crochet in each stitch. So just one in each one. And that's going to start making it go down the sides. And I will meet you at the beginning of the next row. So now we're back at the end of that round where we did one outside thermal single crochet in each of the stitches and you can see that it's starting to look a little rounder it also will look very thick from the edge got your back side the side view which is why these make great winter hats and then there's your outside view so now what we're gonna do is alternate between inside and outside rounds doing one thermal single crochet in each stitch 
So that's the back loop of the previous row and then the back loop of the row below. And now that you've got it started, it, they really start to be easy to go into because you can see them. If you want to hold your work sideways, you know, feel free. I find that once I get a hat going and I get to the part where I'm doing straight down the edges, that holding a pencil grip is really easy for these inside ones. So if you're doing a lot, you know, you might want to switch it up. We'll go all the way around. Now I'm going to do a couple rows of this. And then come back to show you how it finishes up. <laughs> Side, and you'll notice I'm working with two loops and as we go I'm going to give you some more yarn and as we go those sides of the hat now this looks not like a hat but yours will be bigger and it'll look like a hat the sides will be coming down and basically when you're working the outside round it's one layer and when you work the inside round that's the other layer now come down and it'll start to be shaped like a little hat For the exact numbers of stitches, rounds, all that good information, um, you'll take a look at the patterns that are on at my pattern on Ravelry or on Etsy. Make really nice, warm, warm thermal hats. Is what I call them because kind of look like that waffle pattern kind of texture of uh, long underwear. So you can see that's the thickness right there. And then when you come to your last row, round row, you're going to finish with an inside round. Going all the way around. And it'll make this nice little detail right here. You can see that on this hat too. Right there. 
And then you'll just tie in your ends. And you are done. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. Till next time. Bye-bye.